Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this model for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now, I already have videos on designing a pop-up or a model for your website. But in that, what happened is that once we click on the close button, the model or the pop-up will not be displayed ever again on that browser. But in this model, what we're going to do is once we click on this close button, we're going to set up kind of like a timer. So, for example, if you set a timer of one day, once someone clicks on this close button, the pop-up will be hidden and then it will be displayed after one day. So, we're going to do that using cookies with JavaScript. Now, in this first video, we will just design everything and in the next video, I will show you how to add the JavaScript. And this is also responsive. So, if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look. So, let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called model and I just opened it with VS Code. Let's go ahead and create the necessary files. Let's create a new file and I'll just name it index.html. And we also need to have a CSS file. So let's create a new file and I'll just name it style.css. And we'll also need a JavaScript file so I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's go back to our design. And here we can see we have this background overlay for this model. So first of all, let's create that. Let's create a division with a class of model overlay. And we will style that using CSS later. Right now for this model, we'll create a division with a class of model. And in that, the first thing we will do is create this shape. So we have this background shape over here. So for that, let's create a division with a class of BG shape. And we'll style that using CSS. And then we have this close button. So let's create a division with a class of close BTN. And for the close button, we need to have this icon. So we will use Font Awesome for that. So first of all, let's get the CDN of Font Awesome. So you can just Google for Font Awesome CDN and you will find this website called cdnjs.com. So let's open that. And let's copy the link of all.min.css. So let's click on copy link tag. And let's go back to our HTML. And I'll just paste it over here inside the head section. And now the next thing we need to do is get the icon. So let's go to the Font Awesome official website. And here I'll just search for close. And here we can see we have this icon. Let's click on this icon. And this is the code that we need to copy. So let's click on it to copy it. And let's go back and uh, I'll just paste it over here. All right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed over here in the browser and we have this close icon displayed over here. Right now, let's go back to our design and here we have these two sections. One is this left section where we have this text and this discount amount. And then on the right, we have this information and this button. So let's create a division with a class of left for this left section. So here I'll just create a division with a class of left. And for the right part, we will create a division with the class of right. Now in the left section, the first thing we need to have is this heading. So we have this text special sale. So let's create an S3. And here just tap special. And then for the next text, we need to have sale. But this has a larger font size. So let's create an S3 and we'll also give it a class. So I'll just give it a class of sale text. And here just tap sale. And the next thing we need to have is this text. So let's create a division with the class of discount. And in that we will have this text over here. So we'll create a paragraph for that. And uh, here I'll just type save up to. And then we have 45%. So for this also we have a different styling. So let's create a class for that. We will create a division with the class of discount percent. And here I'll just type 45%. Right, that's it with the left section. So here we can see we have all these elements over here. 
Now let's move on to the right section. So here in the right section, the first thing we need to have is this heading. So let's create an H2 and we will add the text inside that. Now here we can see we have this line break after the. So for that we'll create a BR tag after the. And if you go back to our website, here we can see we have this heading with two lines. But now let's go back and the next thing we need to have is this text over here. So for that I'll just create a paragraph and uh, I'll just type click below. And then we need to have this button. So for that let's create an anchor tag and here in the href you can just add the link of the page. For now I'll just type hash over here. You can add the link of your product page over here. And I'll also give it a class. So I'll just give it a class of discount button. And here for the text, I'll just type get discount. All right, that's basically it with the HTML of our design. So here we can see all the elements are displayed over here. Now let's start writing the CSS and we will make it look like this. So let's go to our CSS file. And the first thing we will do is style the overlay. So for the overlay, we have this division with the class of model overlay. So here I'll just type dot model overlay. Now for the model overlay, we need to have the height and the width to 100% and we'll also set the position to fixed. So let's type position fixed and uh, we will set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100% and we'll set the left position to 0 and the top position to 0 and let's add a background color and we'll set it to RGBA and here I'll just type 0, 0, 0 and for the opacity I'll just type 0 0.4. Here we can see we have this overlay displayed over here. And we'll also set the pointer events to none so that all the elements below the overlay can also be clicked. So here I'll just type pointer events, none. Alright now the next thing we will do is style the model. So for the model we have a division with the class of model. So let's type dot model. And uh, even for the model, we will set the position to fixed. And we need to bring it to the center of the screen. So for that, we will type top and we will set it to 50% and left to 50%. And now we can see that the model starts from the 50% mark. So now we need to add a line of code, which is transform translate. And we need to set it to negative 50% X and negative 50% Y. And now we can see it is exactly in the center. Now for the model, we will also set a Z index of let's try 300 pixels and we'll also add a background color and we will set it to white. Now let's also add a min width and we'll set the min width to 550 pixels and we'll also change the font family to Roboto. So first of all, let's get the link of the font Roboto. So here I'm in fonts.google.com. So let's search for Roboto. And let's click on the font and we need to have three different styles of fonts. We need to get the light version for this text over here. So let's select this light 300 and then we need to select the regular version. So let's select this and then lastly we need to select the bold version. So let's select this. Right now let's click on this button called view your selected families and here we have this link which we can copy in our HTML. So let's copy this link and let's go back to our HTML and uh, let's paste it over here in the head section. Right now let's go back to our CSS file and uh, let's add the font family over here. So I'll just type font family. Let's set it to Roboto sans serif. Right now let's add a box shadow. So let's type box shadow and we will add the values 0, 5 pixels, 26 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA. 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also add a border radius for rounded corners. So let's type border radius and let's set it to 20 pixels. All right now let's style this close button. So for the close button we have a division with the class of close btn. So let's type model close btn and let's set the position to absolute. Now this close button will be positioned relative to this model and we will set the right position to 20 pixels and the top position to 20 pixels. 
Now for the close button, we will set a font size of 20 pixels. And let's also add cursor to pointer so that when you hover over this, we have this cursor. And we'll also add a padding. So let's type padding and let's set it to 4 pixels. And now we can see we have this padding for this close button. Right now if you go back to our design, we can see that we have the left division on the left side and the right division on the right side. So for that we need to set the display to flex for the model. So let's go over here to the model and uh, here we will type display of flex. And now we can see we have this left division on the left and the right division on the right. Now first of all let's style the left division. So for the left division we have a division with a class of left. So let's type model left. And we'll set the background color to 242424. And we'll set the color of the text to white. And we'll also add a border radius. So let's type border radius. And let's set it to 20 pixels. And we'll also add a box shadow. And let's set the values to 17 pixels, 0, 17 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.3. Let's also add a padding. So let's type padding and we'll set it to 24 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And we'll text align everything to the center. So let's type text align center. Right now let's style this S3. So let's type model left S3. And let's set the font size to 22 pixels. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll also remove the margin. So let's type margin 0. Now for the second heading, we need to increase the font size. So for the second heading, we have a class of sale text. So let's type model left s3 dot sale text. And let's set the font size to 36 pixels. All right, now let's style this text right here. So for that text, we have a paragraph and it is inside this division discount. So let's type model left discount p and let's set the font size to 13 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also set letter spacing of 3 pixels and let's change the text color so just type color and let's set it to ebff00 and let's remove the margins and we will add a margin top of 32 pixels Right now let's style this text right here. So let's go back and for that text we have a division with a class of discount percent. So let's style that here. Let's type model left discount discount percent. And let's set the font size to 60 pixels. And we will set the font weight to 300. Alright so that's basically it with the left section. Now let's focus on the right section. And let's go back to our code and here we can see in the HTML for the right section we have this division with the class of right. So let's target that. Here I'll just type model right and uh, we will add a padding of 32 pixels. And we need to bring everything to the center vertically. So let's set the display to flex and uh, we'll also set the flex direction to column. And uh, we'll set justify content and center. Now let's style this h2 so let's type model right h2 and uh, we will set the margin to 0 and we'll set text transform to uppercase and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels now for this paragraph let's change the text color so let's type model right and uh, for the paragraph we have a p tag so let's type P and let's set the color of the text to dark gray. And now let's style this button. So for the button we have this anchor tag with a class of discount BTN. So let's type model right discount button. And first of all let's remove the underline. So let's type text decoration set it to none. And we will set a background color of FF5555. And here we can see we have a width of 100%. So it is because we have set the display of the container to flex. So for that we have to type align self and we have to set it to flex start. 
and uh, let's also add some padding let's start padding and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and let's change the color of the text to white and let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also set the font weight to bold and we'll also add a border radius of 20 pixels right now the last thing we need to style is this background shape over here so for that we already have this division with the class of bg shape so let's style that here i'll just type model bg shape and let's set the position to absolute now this will be positioned relative to this model we will set a height of 12 pixels and we'll set a width of 40 percent and let's also add a background color and let's set it to linear gradient and we will set it to 180 degrees and uh, for the first color we will set it to 04B6C1 and uh, it is 0% and then we will add a color 0E8A91 and it is 100% so here we can see we have this shape let's add a border radius so let's tap border radius and uh, set it to 20 pixels 20 pixels and 00 now let's position it over here on the top so let's set the top position to negative 12 pixels and let's set the left position to let's try 40 percent and that looks all right all right so that's basically it with the design of our model now in the next video i'll show you how to make this model responsive and we'll also add the javascript so that when we click on this close button the model should not be displayed for a specific amount of time and then after the specified time the model will again be displayed so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day